Hey guys, you're here for an insane Glimmer and Gunsmith material farm. This also works for Easy Vex chassis components for Ikora's Milestone, Legendary Shards, 2.0 armor mods, and Prime Engrams. Last season I released the Loot Fountain and Prime Engram farm for Insight Terminus. At the beginning of the season, people mentioned that the new artifact mods work for this farm. Circuit Scavenger gives increased Glimmer while defeating Vex. Labyrinth Miner gives Gunsmith materials for defeating Vex Minotaurs. So by doing the same thing, you get three times the loot. I'll leave a link to the original video at the end. Basically, you want to do the PS4 time trick to break matchmaking, have a full fire team, or load up the Insight Terminus Nightfall this week. Don't put any handicaps or modifiers on. You can do this solo or with friends. Put one Labyrinth Miner and one Circuit Scavenger mod on. Make it to the end of the strike. If you have trouble in the Cabal area, make sure you do things slowly and kill everything. When you get to the end, you need to put one bullet into as many Minotaurs as possible and one bullet into the Hydra. Anything fast, like pulses with a backup mag mod, work best. When you hit a Minotaur, it will drop Glimmer, one Gunsmith material, and a chance at rare gear, which is more Glimmer and Gunsmith materials. When you hit the boss, you have a chance at Legendaries and Prime Engrams, which is good Gunsmith materials, Power Level, and Legendary Shards. Plus, the Vex components will easily grant Ikora's Milestone. You can do this for as long as you want. I recommend bringing a friend. Anything they shoot will count as your kills allowing you to hit more minotaurs and get more loot. You can even kill some of the Vex in the hallway. After the boss Cargan kills the Vex, you need to quickly kill yourselves and wipe. If you fail to do so, you will hit a boss checkpoint and you won't be able to farm anymore. So if you go to pick up loot, bring a rocket launcher to quickly kill yourself after picking it up. You can repeat this loop every 45 seconds to 1 minute, so that's 200 glimmer and around 6 gunsmith materials in a minute. Then you can pick up and dismantle the engrams for more. I applied a Rainmaker consumable, and it looks like it dropped extra glimmer that I picked up off the ground. And it was a good mount, too. The Vinus Matterweave didn't seem to work for me. So what do you do when you reach max glimmer? You can convert those to legendary shards. Just buy the same rare transmat effect for 1000 glimmer each. Then turn three of those into Amanda Holiday for a legendary transmat effect. Then dismantle that effect for a legendary shard. So 3k glimmer for one shard. Or you could buy upgrades for your armor and weapons. What can you do with your excess gunsmith materials? Buy mod components from Ada 1. Then unlock exclusive weapon mods from her like Rampage Spec, or use them to buy from Banshee. You could even try your luck with gunsmith engrams. This can drop 2.0 armor mods and god roll weapons, like a god roll, a rental dysfunction fusion rifle. More materials means more loot, and this farm has got you covered for every scenario. Cheese forever, Guardian.